All right. Homework three has a few more topics on, but hopefully these are ones, again, you'll go through really quickly. Scientific notation with positive exponents. You're going to have a positive exponent if you have a number bigger than one. We use scientific, or well, we have negative numbers too, but um, uh, we're, we're going to either change them from scientific notation to decimal notation, which is just as a regular number. It may not have a decimal when you're done or go from regular notation to scientific notation. So if I have negative 3.68 times 10 to the fourth, just means I'm going to move my decimal four places to the right. And so I have to move it two times for the six and the eight. And then I'm going to add two zeros to the end so that it's four places over. So negative 36800 would be negative 36,800. On the second one, if I'm going to put it in scientific notation, in scientific notation, your value in front is always a number between 1 and 10 or negative 1 and negative 10 if it happens to be negative. You always put that decimal behind the first non-zero digit. So I'm going to do 2.7, and then I drop off all the extra zeros, shortens up my expression a bit. Times 10 to the... I'm going to count. If I put my decimal right behind the 2, I would have to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 places to the right. So 2.7 times 10 to the 7th would be my number in scientific notation. So go ahead and write number 3 in scientific notation. should get negative 1.2 times 10 to the fourth. All right.